Hi everybody. Sorry, a little bit of technical difficulties again. But I think we're good now. How's everybody doing today? Good, I hope. Y'all doing good? Have good weather, sunny weather where you're at? Can you all hear me okay? Sound check. What y'all been up to? Still not seeing the comments. Come on, work for me, please. There we go. Good morning, Gerda. How are you? Good. I'm glad. Hi, Deb. Y'all doing okay? Is it sunny where you're at? I just added to the comments my new page. In addition to this page, I have another one that's Robin's Wreath Signs and more. Um, if you haven't gone on and requested to join, please do. There will be, um, the signs will be listed in there. Um, also, some contests and some freebie stuff and a little bit of everything. So, don't hesitate to go on and, and uh, ask to join. And we'll get you on there. Now, the other day when we were on, we were talking about this sign. And I had a, a really good idea. And a lot of people added some comments that really made me do some thinking. So, we're going to do this as a sign kit. You're going to get this blank sign. It's a wood sign. Okay. And it has a hanger. A nice rope hanger. And you're going to get the sign. And... Somebody had suggested, hi Angie, somebody had suggested putting an initial up here of the child's room that this is going to go in. I thought it would be cute to put a nice star up here, okay? And if you guys want, I even on my um, vinyl cutter, I even made some deer tracks that can be put in various places on the sign. If you know the child's initials that you want the sign for, I would be more than happy to make the initial in vinyl. And you'll get all this. You paint it, you put it together. I thought, you know, we make a lot of wreaths, but sometimes we have a little special one come along that we want to make something different for. I thought I was going to have my new signs today to show you those, but there was a delay. So I'm hoping by Saturday to release the next batch of signs, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this together. I know when we were on there, we were talking colors. The brown and the dark gray really brought out the color in the sign. So I don't know if any of you have seen me paint. Hi, Joanne, thank you. Hi, Nanny Dot. So, I used this folk art paint. I painted it real heavy on here. Then I took a wet paper towel, while it was still wet, and I pulled off some of the paint. I like to allow some of the grain of the wood to shine through, okay? And if I'm going to put anything like vinyl on a wood sign, I do not... Um, shellac that sign until after the vinyl's on. Well, by shellac, I mean like acrylic spray or whatever. And, I, and if you were going to do this, I would definitely, you know, figure out where you want your sign to go, all right? And then if you want the deer tracks, put the deer tracks across it anywhere. And then I would put this on wherever you want this to go, okay? And then... 
before you put the sign on, then I would spray it with acrylic. All right. So we're just going to pretend it's sprayed with acrylic. <laughs> and I'm going to put this back in now that I painted it. I still want to paint the back. But we all have a lot of cutie pies in our lives now. Now, how was this on? I think it went, nope, didn't go that way. Okay. Went this way, I think. I pulled it out and I didn't pay in mind of how it was going in. That's not going to stay. I'll have to get another one to see how it goes in. <laughs> so we know for sure. like let's see okay so you put the loop up through the hole and then you pull it like that now it's not staying like that so how did they do it I didn't move the hole. I didn't change it. So why is this one staying and this one not? All right, let's try it again. I'm bound and determined to get this, as you can tell. <laughs> huh. Well, this is the way it came out. So I don't know why it's not going back in. I may have to glue it. Just put a spot of glue, like right here and here, and then make sure that stays. Now it's staying. Huh. Okay. Under the star what? Joanne, I'm not sure I'm following you. Oh, under the stars, is that what you mean? All right. So we're going to leave this up here. Now you could paint this a different color. You could paint this to match this. Again, this is your kit. You get to do what you want with it. The kit is going to be $22. It's going to come with your star, your wood, your sign, and deer tracks, and an initial. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do, you could use E6000 to mount this sign to the wood. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use the glue dots. I'm gonna test them too. Like I wanna see if um, these hold up with the wood and such. If it adheres to the wood and sticks, I'm gonna leave it up for a couple weeks and see if it comes all hooked. Because I'm sure heat and stuff might affect it somehow. And if your husband has, which mine does, he has, well, it's mine, but um, you can also shoot this in with little brads. I have an air compressor with an air gun. So, all right. So, again, my star will go up here once it's painted. Can you guys see okay? Like, should I bring it down for you? Let's see. I want to, like, direct you more towards the project so you can see what I'm doing. Okay? All right. Now, have any of you ever worked with vinyl? Do any of you have a Cricut or a Brother Scan and Cut? This is what's called transfer tape. All right? We use this to remove, well, should cut it a little wider. We use this to remove the vinyl off of the paper, okay? And then we rub it onto the wood. I just thought it would give it a cute look to have some deer tracks going across here. But I want to kind of keep this where it is so I know where my, um, my uh, star is. 
star is going to go. Now I could take these and put them going down the side. Or I thought what I would do is put some here on this board, put a few here on that board and so on, just to make it look like the deer has tracked across. Well, welcome, Gerda. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Now what I now what I was trying to tell you, whoops, we got a, a sneaky little piece trying to work its way off the paper there. I will have already cut this out for you, and I will have it so um, you can just... It will already be attached to the transfer tape. You will use usually a credit card. This is what we use to rub it down onto the wood. It's kind of like a peel and stick is what it's like if you've never worked with it before. But I just thought I'd put, you know, a few here, here, just to give it some interest. And if you didn't want to use the star, you could get a piece of wood that goes across these two, um, and they are, okay, if you got a piece of wood like three inches long to go across the top, I can make sure that I have the name on a three inch piece of vinyl for you. So you could put the name on there instead of the star. You could just put it on a piece of wood or um, I was trying to look. I know I had little pieces, but I can't find them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two at a time because I have the slats to work within. So, so you would put your transfer tape on top of your vinyl, okay, and you're just rubbing it against the design because now what will happen is when I pull this up, the design comes up off the paper. Okay, it's that easy. The hardest part when doing this is what's called the weeding, where you take all the pieces and you peel, like I'll show you what it looked like. See, it was a solid sheet of vinyl and I had to pull off the pieces and keep these attached. And I already lost a dot or two, so we'll take that one from up there and we'll place it down here on this one. There we go. And there are different um, deer tracks. I'm pretty sure this is the buck deer track. And then the doe just has the two pieces in the, the two like hooves in the front. The, the buck has the two in the back. All right, so I'm just gonna find a place that I can put some of these around. And then you're gonna do this. You're just scrubbing it, and then you're going to peel it right off. And then, boom, you got a little piece that you got to make sure you got to peel easy. A lot of times, if you rock back and forth, that sometimes helps it come off easier. Now, I noticed when you do this on wood that's painted, it's okay. When you do it on wood that's stained, you have a harder time. Okay, but I just wanted to give it again another um, visual interest. Hi, Michelle. So we're going to take four more. And I'm just, like I said, going to randomly place these around. If you guys wouldn't mind spreading the love, I'd really appreciate it. Oh, okay, I won't tell anybody, Michelle. <laughs> this is my um, first sign kit. You get the wood, you get the deer tracks. You get the sign and you get the star all for um, $22 plus shipping. So we, we took the glue dots and we attached the sign with the glue dots. If you wanted to um, spray this with acrylic, I would suggest keeping your sign off till the very end. You could put it on top just to give yourself some placement. You can paint the star whatever color. I may go ahead and paint that either a light brown or maybe a gray would look nice. So again, I'm going to put like, there we go. So basically you're going to get this with the transfer tape on top of it. 
So you're going to be able to just cut sections and put it where you want it. Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate it. If I knew my grandson's new name, well, he's not born yet, but if I knew his name, I could have made this for him. There. Isn't that looking cute so far? Look how those pop against the, the brown. And if you were going to do gray, dark gray, I think they would pop against the dark gray too. But I don't think now that I'm seeing it with the brown here, I don't think that the dark gray background would make it pop like this does. So we'll go ahead and we'll put a few down here also. You'll get a whole strip. Okay, you can put them where you want them. I'm doing four at a time because I'm noticing the spacing. I want to be, you know, I want to make sure I get everything even. And if you wanted some extra stars, I have smaller stars, so you could put, you know, extra stars on. But that's the whole purpose behind me developing my signs. And that's in order to give you um, a kit that you could make as a gift and personalize it. Um, it was, I think it was Missy's idea to put the, um, <laughs> no, no baby time yet. I keep listening for the phone. Um, I had a little technical difficulties to start, so. But I'm showing him my first um, sign kit. You'll get the wood, the sign, the star, and the deer tracks. And if you want the star and you want the initial, you give me the initial, and I will make you up an initial to go with it. It just makes for a nice personalized baby gift. And I will have the, the deer tracks weeded for you. So all you would have to do is, um, you know, you just have to do the transfer tape and lift them. You know what? I think I want more on here. I think I want to do some all the way across. So let me put just the two. See, sometimes I reuse the transfer tape. If you get really good transfer tape, you can reuse it. I just thought it would be neat to put them all the way across the bottom. There we go. Oops. We left a dot. There we go. Isn't this darling? Thank you. I appreciate it, LaVon. Now I know I've got about five people that have ordered the B sign with the B gnome. We're this close to um, finishing the design on the B, okay? Um, I reviewed the final draft this morning. I love it. I think it's going to be really cute. Um, so now we're working on the fabric. And by, and what I mean by working on the fabric, if you see this fabric here and this fabric here, the way I make my signs, that's the way I'm going to be making the fabric for the B. And we're having trouble getting the B um, fabric to line up on my printer to print it off. So it's um, the fabric is going to be all made by me. And where is it? Oh, you tell me I lost it. Okay. I found the cheetah ribbon. And the lady right now is making a lot for me. And I also found. Uh, I thought I had the bunny sign down here. I also found, yes I do, and this will be a gnome also, I also found the Easter egg ribbon to match the sign. So that's the hold up. If you want your part, your partial order shipped out, because I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be another week till I get the signs and the gnomes going. So if you want it shipped out ahead of time, I can ship that half of your order out ahead of time and then ship the B when it's done.
but if you'll notice, my bee has, or my ladybug has the cheetah print up there. So it, it was really hard. Nobody has cheetah print ribbon. Okay, now, I was hoping I wouldn't have to do this, but I probably am going to. I have more of the deer tracks. And we're going to need more across the bottom. So I will show you how we weed. This is why I'm selling it pre-weeded because <laughs> I think if you had to do it yourself, you'd go insane. Okay. So I want to get two more on here and then do a, a pair. So I'm going to weed in front of you. Weeding is... The hardest part when you have small pieces like this because what you're actually doing and can you all see it yeah it looks like you can what you're actually doing is you're pulling up but you're leaving the print and like I said these little circles on the deer hooves are a booger so if I didn't weed it for you and you weren't used to weeding, this would take you forever and a day. So, I will even pre-weed for you. And let me tell you, people hate this part. That went off pretty good. Now, where's my transfer tube? I want to push this over a little. Now, if you wanted it in a lighter blue, I can do it in a lighter blue, but this blue is up in here in these letters, and I think it really pops against the brown. All right. And like I said, if you don't have one of these, you can use a credit card. Okay. All right, so there we got all the way across. We got a couple going up this way. Now we need four more. And these are pretty, spaced pretty wide apart, so I'm going to do them individually. I use my weeding tool to kind of hold them in place as I'm pulling up the piece I don't want. I'm going to cut this. And I'll get those two in a minute. I think if I would have um, cut this a second time, I have really good vinyl here from 651 Oracle. So um, it's really good vinyl. And sometimes when you have small pieces like this, it's best to do a double cut and then you're, you're good to go. Hi, Carol. cheating. All right. But won't this be adorable for a baby gift? Oh, and shiplap and brown and turquoise like are like huge colors right now. And I think I'll put that one there. And I'm not sure what color I want to paint the star because I want it to pop, but maybe um, maybe just a light gray. I'll see what that looks like against the um, against the brown. This can also be made by me, but if you want me to make it, it's going to be extra. So you have the option to buy the kit and make it yourself, or I can make it for you. And see, I'm still using that same piece of transfer tape. You can actually use contact paper too. You don't have to use transfer tape.
There we go. All right, there's your sign. And then, like I said, we would paint this, and you can give me an initial, or if you had your own piece of wood, just a little piece of wood, say, and if you don't have it and you prefer the wood, I could probably get Sweet Talk, my husband, into cutting it about three and a half inches by about one and a half inches. It could go across the top here and then just give me the child's name and I print the child's name out in the same color um, vinyl and then you could personalize it or just do an initial. So there you go. You have my sign, the wood, the vinyl, and the star. The kit's $22. Isn't that cute? Is Eleanor Padden watching? Because I know she wanted my last um, sign and we had a problem with getting that. So this is available now. So I did post in my comments the link to my new page in addition to this page, it's Robin's Resigns and More. And all you have to do is go on there and message me through a private message because anything you add under the comments here does not always show. It disappears. So um, when it disappears, I can't retrieve it. And you could even like add some more stars to it like this. Doesn't that look cute? What do you think? Anybody like it? No? Yes? Did I already put y'all to sleep? <laughs> I hope not. Alright, so this is my um, I go to sleep counting gear not sheep which also comes in pink and pink in a girl's room huge huge now they have um, a lot of times they'll have the antlers with a bunch of flowers so yeah big okay so there's that sign and there's this sign I can do it with either either sign I must have put y'all to sleep. Because I'm not hearing anybody. And then, I don't know if you saw my my um, ladybug wreath. Oh, thank you, Angie. I know, right? Just the one star? Okay, Angie said she just prefers the one star on top. That's just so cute. But they're initials. And I, I highly stress to my boys... When they named the baby, because both of them are having a son, one the end of this month, one in June, write their initials on a piece of paper. Because I don't want my grandchild being in the stupid initial club <laughs> where, where your initials spell something out that you don't want to be associated with. So, but we finished the... Um, the the ladybug she now has these little um, cheetah balls there's one here one here one here I now have the cheetah fabric and we now are in the process of printing the cheetah ribbon no one has it I will have it so if you guys are looking for it it is gross grain fabric with wire and I'll tell you what, I, I asked them to send me a sample because gross grain ribbon, wired gross grain women are a ribbon. Are you kidding? But look, it curls really nice. So I was shocked. So that will be available also on the Robins Resigns and More. Okay? Now, we started this the other day, right? And, and I really got to thinking. So, I went ahead. I also have, I know this ribbon is cute, but this ribbon is cuter. I fell in love with this ribbon. 
And I have tons of it, and it's available by the yard, but look at it. Is that not the cutest? So this ribbon is available. This is a kit also. It's a wood, wood um, circle. You can go to any store and pick out what I have is 12 by 12. Um, this is actually a 12 inch circle. So this is a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper, Mod Podge to the top of the board. Okay, so we've got that. So, hi Esther. So Levon, we're gonna jack it up now, baby. All right, and we're gonna take off this ribbon because I think I don't know. What do you guys think? Purple or the pink or the yellow ribbon? Which do you like? Which one do you think? We have roses and and I went to Ace or to Joanne's today. I have Levon, pit berries with flowers attached. There's daisies. Look at these daisies. There's these flowers. I have more roses. We're going to jack this up and put these flowers on it. I thought this was adorable too, but it doesn't. Well, I guess it looks all right against the white. I, they only had one purple, my favorite. Okay, so we've got all colors here. We've got yellows and whites and pinks. So this is going to be your, your idea. Okay, LaVon says she likes the pink. Anybody else? Now again, I'm going to use the glue dots to put this in place. So we'll go ahead with the pink. All right. Now I try when I do this to make sure that I'm working with this. So, and this comes in a little boy too. So it doesn't have to be in a little girl. Now I'm going to pull off the sign I made for it the other night because we're going to go with the pink. We're going to make it girly. Yellow is cute, but we're going pink. We're going pink. Make sure my glue gun is working. Yep. There we go. I was trying to just keep it from fraying, and I think that's good. Esther says pink, and Levon says pink, so we're gone pink. Nobody else spoke up, because I guess you're all napping. You're not listening. <laughs> all right, and this is also sold by the yard, too. So, if you decided you wanted the kit with the wood, you get your, you find your own scrap of paper, so you get the wood and you get the sign. Ah, oh, I think I can throw in the ribbon. All right, hon, I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Hope she's feeling okay. Thanks, Esther. Esther stopped in to spread the love for me. All I'm doing is hot gluing this to the wood. It adheres and stays really good. And I'm using my ruler so I don't burn myself. All right. So there we go. Now, I showed you the other day how to make 
the, the ribbon, the bow for up top. All you're doing is looping like that, all right? And then I'm pinching it together. And then I'm taking another piece. And all we're gonna do with this piece is put this here, our bow. Pinch it together. We're gonna be very careful not to burn my fingers. Try not to burn my fingers so I really didn't press hard enough. So get out my ruler because it can withstand the heat better than I can. I'm going to fold this. This is also wired. I'm going to fold that down like that so I have a nice clean edge. Nothing showing. Carol, did everybody get their signs yet? Like they should all be arriving by now. And boy, did I get a lot of orders this week. Holy cow. So I must be in the right, I must be where I need to be doing what I need to be doing. So And all my ribbon is available by the yard, so if you see a ribbon you like. All right, let's do our glue dots and get this um, adhered so we know where we're going with our, with our flowers. Ooh, Levine got her signs. Angie, did you get yours? using the um, wood on the back. Oh crap, there we go. To feel where it needs to go. Awesome sauce. Okay, there it is so far. All right, great. Did you order us, did you place a second order? I was trying to think yesterday, uh-oh, do I owe you a B sign and a, and a noom? Or am I thinking a Missy? All right, we've got these flowers. We've got these flowers. We've got these flowers. We've got some really gorgeous roses here, roses here. Let's use the smaller ones. I think the big ones are just going to totally take over. Hi, Shirley. All right. Where, there they are. I'm going to have to look this up and share these with you guys. I got these on Amazon and they are just amazing. So I kind of want one there possibly and one down here. I don't think I want all this, although this is kind of cute. Nah. 
No, 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 no. I'm doing good, Carol. Just waiting for our grandson to arrive. 29th. I kind of like these, these picks, because they have daisies in them. They have this little thing in here. They've got some a little bit of pit berries, then some bigger um, beads. I just wasn't sure if that was just like too much. So, greenery or not, what are, what are we doing here? Come on, peoples. This is your creation too. Maybe a couple of daisies. Carol, those cute puppies are pooping away. They have... <laughs> I bought PVC pipe today and plastic chain from, from um, Lowe's. And I'm not going to chain them up. That's not what I'm buying it for. One of my breeder friends told me, take the piece of PVC pipe, put it across the top of the pen and dangle a bunch of toys from the chain. And it will keep them so occupied that they will stay out of trouble and quit beating each other up because they're at that, I'm going to beat you up stage. So <laughs> it gets really noisy and really loud and they are just like uh, totally attacking each other. I don't like that. So but I do like these. So yeah, I'm going to make them this activity center across the top. So it should be uh, it should be interesting. <laughs> Just trying to figure out where I want this. Kind of like that, kind of like off the side a little bit. Thoughts? Two of them off. Okay, this only has two. Yes. So we're on baby watch. And my other my other female just came into heat. <laughs> so it's like a three ring circus in my house. My boarders went home yesterday, which that helped. But yeah, it's it's crazy though. I'm just not sure about that green. Kind of like that, sitting right there. So, yep, he's going to be making some activity centers for the pups. anything to keep them busy and from beating each other up. Because they are just crazy dogs. so calming and quiet when I come down here. <laughs> I so look forward to spending time with adults and not yelling at puppies because they, they just get out of control. daisies on this side. I don't 
don't know if I want that thing in there or not. I'm not, I'm not feeling that one. Maybe we'll just put one of these in here. There. All right, I'm gonna have to turn it around and you might wanna, why is that one different than these? You might want to just throw one of these in there too. A little bit different. Oh, they're growing like crazy. Yet the one litter is staying so tiny. And one lady called me yesterday. She's like, you do bath day? I'm like, yeah do bath day a lot. <laughs> Come anytime and we'll make it bath day. <laughs> so she said, I never heard of such a thing. And I said, well, I do it for the puppy parents to get, they get to know their puppies and ask questions and meet me and meet the parents. So It's a fun day. We have a good time. All right, so look at this. We're, we've got two projects here, one day, and both are kits. All right, so I'm going to pull this off to the side and leave that pile up there. And let's jack this up, Levon. Levon loves it when I say that. And if you guys are not on Levon's page, you better get on there. I'm telling you, you got to watch her on Thursday, right? Thursday, Levon. All right, let's get this in there first and then kind of build around it. She is going to paint a wooden heart. You just got to watch. Loving it already. And it's not even finished. I think I want another leaf out here. Oh, that's from the other bunch. I'll go with this one. Just so I can build the um, the daisies on that. <laughs> Go, Esther. Do they make you wait a long time in the doctor's office like they do in the States? Yep. Levon's on Thursday at when, Levon? Is it 1 or is it 12? Oh, my gosh. This just, because see, she's got, she's got peach and yellow and pink flowers laying on top of her. I'm loving this. So I kind of want to take the daisies out onto the green and keep them off the white so they just really pop. And we can add a star to this one too, this this sign kit. And, uh, you know, I can put the little girl's name on it. Oh, crap. I got an appointment at 1230 tomorrow. Well, I'll be watching it probably from the waiting room. <laughs> did you ever did you ever drop little little bits of glue on top of your flowers? They look like it's they're they're wet from rain. It looks so cute. I'm not liking that in there. That looks kind of fake. So we're going to leave that out, but we're going to get some of this other stuff in here. We're going to get one of the daisy leaves in here. 
Now see, all I'm using is glue. And again, you can use your own flowers with this wreath kit. If you absolutely want, you know, I can find some to add for you, but I like seeing what you come up with. Just not sure the bow is doing it for me. Gonna feel around. Believe it or not, there's like room under the sign because the sign, the glue dots, leave it sit up. I'm gonna add a little yellow, pop of yellow. So sticking some pip berries in here, Lavani. Need some pip berries. Let me see where I want this to go. I like that going off there. So, these were all from Joann's, and they were $1.99 and 40% off. And then I think I'm going to get this coming out here like that. All right. We are working on a logo for Levon's new page. She is gonna look so pretty. I think I want that a little shorter. So. This is just hot glue. You could, if you wanted, stick a little piece of styrofoam on there. Cool. They would look nice back there in your bee garden. Got a pit berry stuck. And I'll show you this end. Sure, I haven't put any of you to sleep now. I don't know, I may stick that bead in there. Just don't know. I kind of like it like that. All right, there's one corner. And see, all we did was snip off pieces of the flower. I got it as close to the base of the bottom of the flower as I possibly could and just used that. Doesn't that look adorable? And then see, you got this. And, and we wouldn't even need a star on top of here Okay, we could actually, um, I can actually just put the child's name on the vinyl for you. And if you wanted, you could do up some little stars and put those around it. I just think this is adorable. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm bragging on my, on my signs. I, I've worked so hard on them and put in so much time and effort and changes and alterating and, you know, okay, this color looks better, that color looks wrong. So, you know, these were not just quick, you know, decisions here. These were well thought out and, and well, um, and really, I really went over every aspect in these designs 
So there's a lot of effort that goes into them, and I really hope. Oh, okay. I really hope you like them because they come from the heart. And I got the biggest compliment last night by one of my friends. She is, she does um, signs and she even told me she could really see the difference in mine. Mine were not stretched out further than they should be. There are no lines showing. The colors work. I mean, she just went on and on and that just, that just meant so much coming for her because it's, it's hard when you're trying something new and trying to, to, you know, develop something really original and for her to point out the qualities in it that she liked the most really meant a lot. So... Oh no. <laughs> we'll have to check it out. I know we can all make wreaths, but I wanted stuff that would give you more ideas for like, um, gifts and personalized things that are, are so unique and different. So that's where all this came from. They all came from the heart. And I'm still going, so... It's got a little bit of glue on it. Maybe I should just leave it because it looks like raindrops. All right. I'm going to kind of build this up so this can sit up a little. So I'm going to put that underneath it. If you all wouldn't mind saying a little prayer, we have a family member who is taken to hospice, and we are praying. It's just not sitting where I want it to sit. If I put that in there, all right. Well, hopefully, the ribbon will be in in a week, and hopefully, we can get the uh fabric printed out and we're golden we're on our way any of you like daisies I have a new um, sign coming out it's actually a license plate for your car and it's purple with daisies on it and oh my gosh you are gonna flip if you like purple and daisies you're gonna want one All right, shake test. It's holding. What do you think? 
I went light on the background because I really wanted the sign and the flowers to pop. And I think this, oh, I want that over there or over here because I don't want that there. I thought I glued that. Guys, you're not, you're not, um, you're not helping me here. Why are you telling me I didn't glue that? There we go. Hi, CJ. Thank you, Angie. It's appreciated. She's been struggling for a long time, and I think she's she's ready. It's just going to be hard for everyone left behind. We understand why, but at the same time, it's not easy for her family. I don't know if I want to add a pink. I think I'm just going to leave it. So there we go. So each one of my signs, I'm giving you an idea of what you can do. Other than put it in a wreath. Nothing wrong with putting it in a wreath. Aw, oh, thanks, Angie. And like I said, I don't know if you want to, like, make some silver stars and put them on top of the sign to make them, like, pop up. All that can be added. There's different sizes. These would be so cute, done up in, in glitter. Need a little bling and everything, right? All right, so we have that, and then we did this one. This is the other kit. You, of course, would pick out your own flowers for this kit, but you would get your stars, your sign, and your board, um, and the ribbon. So this one's 24, and this one's 22. And with this one, you get your deer tracks already cut out, already on transfer tape, so you get to transfer them. And then you have, if you want the name across, send me the child's name. Or if you want to do the star and you want to just put initials in there, we can do that. I think that is the biggest, no, here's the biggest star, but this one is too big. Say. So I think we're better off just using this size. This to me looks like it belongs there. And I know I've had people asking about the uh, horse kit. I only have um, two more left of these. Okay, this is 10, this is 10. So I only have the horseshoes, the boot, and the hat. I only have two more sets of this to go with the horse sign. And then, let's see. I'll show you the signs one more time, and then hopefully by Saturday, I will have the new signs made up and ready. Um, did y'all, y'all saw the one I did for my computer guy. He's the one that designed my logo. That's the name of his business. I can put your business on a license plate too. So, and there's the one I made. I made a set for my husband and I, I can do this. The one I told you about has purple background and daisies here and here and a place to put your name in there. So there's that. This bunny is on his way. He hasn't gotten here yet, but he's he's hopping. He's he's coming. <laughs> so there'll be a bunny gnome to match the sign and the ribbon to match the eggs in the sign. And the cheetah ribbon is on its way. I ordered 100 yards. So, hey, Joy. No problem. And then we have enjoy the, the uh, little things or... This one's my favorite, Nothing Bugs a Lady. 
and I have the gnome to match. Here he is. We now have the cheetah print for his head. His head, because see, the cheetah print is all around the sign, plus here on his head. Plus, I just took a few styrofoam balls and covered them with the fabric to add in there. Then you have follow the sun and seek beautiful things. And I have the ribbon, the bike ribbon to match this sign. It's also sold by the yard. So there you're not stuck with a bunch. And they also um, come in the little signs too with a magnet. Okay, thanks Angie. And then here's one of the, which this is for my daughter-in-law when that new baby arrives. And then it says, welcome baby. And I've added a magnet to all my small signs. And I think that's it. It's all the lamb, which comes in, in a boy too. So these are the new kits. If you're interested in any of the kits, you just go to um, Robin's Resigns and more and send me a private message. If you haven't joined my other, my new page, go in and join because there's going to be contests there. There's going to be giveaways there. Um, every new sign I come out with will be listed there. So you don't want to miss any of that. And like I said, all the ribbon that you see me using, I have for sale by the yard. Like this ribbon, 40 cents a yard. Come on, it's it's wired ribbon. You, you can't beat that. You can't go to Joann's and buy this ribbon for 40 cents a yard at, at Joann's. Impossible. And I have this in blue, green, pink, and yellow. And you'll see it has like a little design on the side. We had that on here, but then we decided to go with the pink. Shoo, excuse me. Any questions? Any comments? Please spread the love. I really appreciate it by hitting that S-H-A-R-E button that we're not allowed to say. And these are just on here with glue dots. If you don't want to use E6000 glue, I'll make you glue dots to go with it, with your kit. There we go. Shake test. We didn't have it glued, so that's okay. <laughs> Maybe I should stick a glue dot on there now so I don't lose it. I think that's what I'll do. That way I know where it is. Look at that. And this, we could, we could glue a bunch of stars on here if we wanted. And I don't know if I posted the one from the other night, the boy one. I redid the moon, and the moon looks so much better now. It looks like it fits. Oh, thank you. Yvonne has helped me so much along the way. It is amazing. I couldn't have done it without her. Without her, without Susan. Um, they've just been really helpful. And with this, you'll get the deer tracks to put them on yourself. So I haven't posted any of my videos the last week and a half to YouTube yet because I'm having trouble with the computer and um, so you can always come here and go to the left under videos and watch it again if you missed some. And again we've got the Easter egg ribbon coming and the cheetah ribbon coming and, I, and I'm not sure if Susan is doing uh, she bought the ladybug and she has this amazing four inch cheetah ribbon that she's going to be using so I'm not sure if that's this week or, or when but I will let you know when she lets me know 
she can't wait she's so excited and I did post um, she's having a contest she just hit uh, 35 3500 followers um, so she's giving away a glue gun holder so you'll want to click on that link and, and subscribe, you know and, and enter the contest wow. squishing that thing and if you want, these could even be pink deer tracks. I think they'd be cute in pink. So you have your choice. All right, I gotta go back to Puppyville and check on the babies. They are now, let's see, Saturday, one will be, one is already eight weeks old, the first letter with the multicolored um, they turned eight weeks on Monday, and the other one is turning eight weeks on Saturday. Whew, where did the time go? Right? All right, guys, I thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions about anything, don't hesitate to contact me, okay? And uh, I so appreciate your support and being here. Even if it's just for five minutes, you have no idea. It means a lot. Because we put a lot of time and effort into creating for you. And for you to be here and supporting us and sharing us means, means an awful lot. Okay? All right. You have a great night. And thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.